right? Yes. Different than sales. Yeah. Okay. And you were into graphic design and things like that. And, and did you struggle with sales when you first started? Oh, yeah. I struggled really hard in the beginning. Um, like, on my first qualifying day, like Stephen said, um, I did um, swing my leg out in the field, but I got my first qualifying day. And, um, you were the one that was limping. Yep, I was the one that was limping. But I sent it out to the field, and Stephen, my leader, JJ, was like, I said, you need to go home. I said, you know. So, <laughs> Wow. Um, I didn't give up, but like um, in the beginning, yes, I wasn't good at sales, um, mainly because it was my confidence and all the obstacles that I was going through in my personal life. Like everyone goes through something in their personal life, um, but it got to a point where like it was getting to me in my head. Yeah, and like I knew that, but then like some days I would do really good, and then other days I would be like, oh, I'm going donuts. But I still show up every day, knowing that I could change my life for the better. And so, how did you not quit when you were really struggling? and you couldn't probably pay your bills or whatever with your performance, mm -hmm. why did you give up? Um, honestly, I mainly did it because of my stepson and it was for my family. Um, I didn't grow up the best, like my mom was working three jobs, I didn't see her growing up most of the time because she was working seven days a week trying to raise like me and my siblings as a single mother and I didn't want that for her and my siblings anymore. I knew that one day that it became my life and like my entire family tree so like no matter what, that's what really pushed me. Into that's what kept you going even with a sprained leg door to door. That's incredible. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. So what are your goals from here? Uh, personal business wise. Oh. Either. Both um, either. My goals from here, I really want to take over Austin with um, um, Chris Mobile Brewing. Okay. So I'll take over Austin and just like um, help really build that back up and then go with Colorado and expand out there as well. Um, personal goals, I am aiming towards buying my mom her home in Vancouver, which I'm also setting up for right now. So that's really nice. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm So what helped you like hone in and have like a strong performance after you were able to get over those obstacles? What's like one tip you could give them to like turn it around? To so, like turn it around? Uh, well, one of the tips would be, so like I started in Chicago doing go to the water and then I did Verizon 5G home internet. And then I went over to Nashville to train in Chris Mobile where I got pulled out at. And when I first went to Nashville, I really left with only $20 in my pocket and nothing else, and a suitcase. And so I left with that $20 and intimidation. And that knowing that one day when I get back to Chicago, I was never gonna let that thing life again because I was definitely going to do that. So it was definitely that mentality switch and then creating that separation so far from everyone else where no one can touch me. Good for you. That's awesome. Give it up, Ooh. guys.